Um, I got a package in the mail yesterday uh, that I wanted to share with you. Um, it was a new shield. It's kind of hard to tell what that is. Uh, a visor uh, from uh, Burley Pro. Um, I've used these on my fish finders. Uh, here's one all set up on a Dragonfly. Uh, this is on a Dragonfly 7 Pro. And these are really nice because they, they kind of protect the, uh, the fish finder from being splashed. They um, give you some shade so you don't have to use as much power on your fish finder. So you can lighten, not have this uh, the screen as bright because you know you can block a little bit of the sun that's going straight down on it. So it, it really is a nice item for, for that. And like I said, just protecting it. Um, so they sent me this new one uh, yesterday, and, and I guess this is one of the very first ones. And this is for my Axiom fish finder. So it arrived yesterday, and I'm like, uh, this doesn't line up in any fashion whatsoever. Um, there are screws in the back here, and it didn't line up with any of those. Uh, on the other one, if you look at the back here, the plug goes through a hole there. And the the actual sheet visor is held on by the mount for the uh, so your boat mount uh, holds the uh, for this part here this mount holds the visor on but there isn't any of that on the axiom it just came with this big hole and I'm like uh, guys so I sent them an email I'm like I think you may have sent me the wrong one. Uh, maybe this is the one for an Axiom uh, 7 Pro, not just the regular 7. The uh, the Pro, let me open this thing up. The Pro would have another set of controls down the side, where this is all touchscreen on the Axiom 7. Anyway, back to the uh, the Burley Pro visor. So anyway, I sent them an email and said, hey, you know, this thing doesn't, and all I got was this and a package of screws, but I had no idea what was going on, and there were no instructions. So uh, they got right back to me and told me that, yeah, this was one of the first ones and they hadn't included any instructions with it. Um, so they sent me some instructions. Uh, hey, Nelson from Canada. How are you, man? I love Canada. Uh, it's such a great place to fish. There's so many fish. So they sent me some, some instructions. Uh, I got an email from them today. So I figured I would do this live and we'll just see how easy it is to put this uh, Burley Pro visor on my Raymarine Axiom. So according to the instructions what i should have done was open it up and i could have shown it on the screen but i'm not going to do that now uh you just have to take out these four screws and remove the back shield so allen wrench four screws and i'm guessing that the screws that are on this are a little bit shorter than the ones they sent they probably sent longer ones to accommodate the extra material of the visor so again just four screws here try to do this in a position where you can actually well, let's hide my name so it's not blocking my hands uh, so for four Allen wrench screws I don't know if I screwed that one far enough and okay so this <laughs> I'm gonna drop these things on the floor I think I just don't have them unscrewed far enough Nelson, how is it up in Canada? Are you in a cold area of Canada? You know, my producers are in Ottawa, and every time I talk to them, it's snowing up there. So, yeah, so the back of this just comes off here for the instructions. Like I said, it came with four extra screws, which indeed are a little bit longer, if you can see that. Um, nope. Anyway, it looks like they're about a quarter of an inch longer. I don't know why they would need to be that long. Uh, I'll see which ones work. But so, according to the instructions, just slip that through. Put this back on. 
and then it, so that is just pinched between this. This piece of plastic really just seems like it's kind of a protector and it has the mount. This mount on the side is for your boat mount. So seems pretty simple. Uh, the screws definitely do need to be longer. So let me put in one of the new screws. That's, that's pretty simple. Um, I was kind of worried when they, when I saw the instruction that this was like some kind of a watertight gasket or something, but I said, this is just kind of a, a bumper to kind of protect the outside of this. So it's, it's not, it's not structural at all. Well, there we go. Um, the new visor on my Axiom 7 uh, fits on there nice. Like I said, the beauty of these things is you can use a lot less battery power because you can you don't have to have your screen so bright uh, because it protects that from the sun. Also protects it from splashing. And on a touch screen like this, you know, it, it's, it's nice to kind of try to keep the drops off. Uh, I don't, you know, these things work with wet hands, but you know, those smears and everything from the water, particularly that salt water is never good. So anyway, that was simple. I mean, that took me just a couple of minutes and if I wasn't trying to do it in front of a camera, probably would have been even tougher. I do have on the schedule for, let me look at my calendar really quick. Um, buh, 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 buh. I know I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, April 6th. So on April 6th, I will have, uh, that's a Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. I will have um, some of the folks from Shark Shield uh, on here with me. And we're going to dis discuss the Shark Shield and how it works and the fact that it does actually work. I'm a, I'm a huge uh, believer in it. I've seen it drive sharks away. So for the saltwater folks, um, it could be a lot of interest. They have very nicely um, offered to give a shark shield away. Now, these are not cheap items. Uh, shark shields are, you know, they give you peace of mind on the water for sure. Um, and they work. But, you know, like I said, they're, they're not cheap. And they very nicely said they would give one away. So we're going to kind of do the same sort of thing um, we did with the Siegler Reel giveaway. You know, we're going to want to get at least 100 shares of that broadcast. Uh, I'll post up about it a few days before the show so you you have something to share. Uh, Mike, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Um, uh, I'll be getting uh, my St. Patrick beers going here fairly soon. It's almost noon, right? Um, so anyway, yeah, so Shark Shield uh, on April 6th uh, will be on live with me, April 6th, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. If you want a chance to win a shark shield, if you are a shark uh, or a kayak fisherman in salt water, particularly in those uh, sharkier areas, Northern California, um, and even farther down now, it seems you're seeing more and more uh, Hawaii, you know, that sort of thing. You know, I, this is definitely something you would want to have in your back pocket. Uh, we had an abundance of sharks here the last few years, hammerheads. And these hammerheads were, you know, they're not going to kill you. They're not going to knock you out of your kayak, but they're a freaking nuisance. So I would bring my shark shield out there when I had clients with me, particularly. It just gave them a little bit more peace of mind that we could drive these things away because they'd start swimming around under your kayak. And like I said, they're kind of a nuisance. So having that shark shield is pretty awesome. Um, so if you, again, if you want a chance to, uh, to win one of those, uh, join us on April 6th. Um, Anyway, that was it. Like I said, just wanted to share that uh, that Burley Pro. They've got them for all different fish finders. Um, like I said, I've got the one here on my uh, Dragonfly 7. Um, this is on the Axiom. I know they have them for other brands as well. Uh, it, it's a great item, and um, I've definitely become a believer in this. So uh, check out Burley Pro. Um, if, if you are running a fish finder on your kayak, I think you'll really like it. So anyway, guys um, and gals and whoever, uh, again, I, uh, I hope you have a good weekend. I hope it's not raining where you are so you can actually get on the water. Um, 
And you you like the the Siegler reels? Yeah, there there's there's no question that the Siegler reels are just top of the line, top quality, great stuff. Um, I'll probably do another thing on Siegler reels and tear one apart on here and really show you exactly why I think they're so great, particularly for us kayak anglers. So you know, look forward to that one. A live broadcast on that uh, probably fairly soon. Um, like I said, they're so simple to tear apart and they just have the features that make them really bulletproof and super, super strong. So anyway, folks, have a good weekend. Remember, if you are going out on the water, please always wear your PFD and hold your paddle right side up. Take care.